Uh, first of all, I'd like to start with a simple question, much like we started our Orwell uh, talk and discussion. How many of you here are gamers? Hands up. Less than 50%. That's wonderful. Uh, because I've recently had uh, this uh, radio host ask me a lot of questions about video games or how a video game could be used as a learning tool. Uh, and we're going to learn a, a lot about that today. Uh, or how a game can be used as an empathy simulator, which is, in so many words, what Lucas Pope's 2013 Papers, Please is. And the irony is not lost on us. In this game, you play a, an officer at a border patrol, and we're doing it feet away from our very own uh, border patrol, uh, border box at the, uh, at the edge between the two sides of this uh, split capital. Now, Costandinos over there will uh, start the procedures slowly. Now, obviously, um, the style of Papers, Please is very much uh, in the early 90s of video games and also the world because it essentially simulates something that resembles um, Eastern Europe, let's put it that way, and the, and the, and the uh, Soviet bloc. Uh, it's, of course, it's not real countries. It's, it's all um, uh, fictitious, it's all fake, but it very much resembles that, even down to the name and the uh, symbology used with the famous line from the game, Glory to Archotska, uh, which is etched in your brain by the time you see one of the many endings. Of course, in this game by Lucas Pope, you play an officer at the border of uh, Archotska, and you decide who goes through. You check their papers, you see if they're in line, and then you decide if they go through. Sounds simple, but then it gets really complicated. Because, for example, during the third day, a serial killer, who people knew he was a serial killer, comes to your border, and his papers are perfect. So you decide if you're just going to do your job, just accept him so he goes through, or you get him arrested on the spot, doing your job badly, but taking the morally correct decision. Without further ado, let's get this show started. Papers, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Kostandinos. We few here, we lucky few, we band of brothers. And sisters. <laughs> and sisters, yes. That's from uh, Shakespeare's Henry V. I did not know that Shakespeare was going to come into it, but you know. Okay, so, uh, glory to Arochka for those of you. Uh, Arochka? Arochka. Okay, sorry. I, am, uh, I apologize, our glorious leader. Um, basically, you have been uh, chosen to be a border guard at the border of Archoska, okay? And your job is to either deny entrance or grant ex entrance to people who come there, okay? You start your work at day one. There's a total of uh, 13 days, if I'm not mistaken, 11. It, it always depends. It always yeah. depends on how long you take the game, and, and there's twists and turns as the game goes on, especially at the end of each day when your family comes to play into this. Just take a minute to listen to the music, okay? Like, the moment I saw this game, I was really disappointed, because like, oh, come on, this was made in the, like, 2000s. Why is this game like that? But it emulates the spirit of the game of the day it's supposed to be. We're around the early 80s, okay? So, uh, the labor, uh, we have been selected by the labor lottery to be the, the board patrol, okay? And me and my family are given an apartment to live in. Now, the more people that I purchase, the more money I get, okay? And my family is better off. If I make mistakes, I get credits withdrawn for me, sorry, uh, reduced. Whereas if I do good, okay, if I process enough people, I get more money. But at what point do you go, you know what, this is not worth it? Because this game goes dark. There's a serial killer there. You're asked to reunite, fa to separate families at some point, you're asked to let in terrorists or deny people who have been trafficked. So it goes really, really, really dark, okay? That's one of the interesting observations that we might not get to see in the early days. Whenever a prostitute 
is about to cross the border, their papers are always perfect. Yes. Because the people behind them are so deeply connected to the governments around that they're being used in the most terrible ways and their, their papers are always perfect and it's up to you to allow them entrance or not. Now, this is the environment of the game. Just this. This is something you l could literally just do at home. Okay, but it's magnificent in its simplicity because it's designed to obstruct you from being more productive, thus forcing you to make more choices, okay? You get a letter each day saying what your requirements be, and today my, uh, my mandal is to deny all foreigners, okay? Here is the time that I have to work. If I work after six, I don't get paid. All right, this is my rule book where I can read, st where I can read stuff like this regional map that has a map of the countries and each country has its, has its own cities that issue passports. Okay, so let's let the first person in. By the way, that sound you hear, that intelligible sound you hear, it's there on a purpose. It's so you do not identify what this is. It's faceless, it's nameless, it's the state, the system is forcing you to be like that, so. But, but there is no mistake, no mistaking the communist undertones. Yeah, Anywhere seriously. Anywhere in the game. Yeah, it's, it doesn't explicitly say that this is a more communist state, but as you can see from like the um, ambience, and the fonts they use, and the uh, and the uh, and the colors that this is basically. Imagine uh, Germany, if you know, the wall never fell. You know, there's no wall, no scorpions. There's a wall. There's no scorpions, no dust in the wind. Nothing that happened. So, thank you very much. Uh, this is the uh, this is the passport that we're supposed to look. This is the name, of course the number, and we see that this is a citizen of the state. You get two stamps, one for approved and one for denied, and you give it back. It's that simple. This is the only thing you need to do, but it gets incredibly, incredibly complicated uh, as we go on. Okay, let's let the next one in. Again, that sound that says that this is the system. By the way, the people are talking, as you can see over there. You can see what they say if you take the audio transcript and put it here. Okay, this is a foreigner. He should not be allowed in, according to my mando. So, boom, denied. Again, this is the simplest, this is the simplest part. Okay, it's just like a form of introduction into the game. This is a non-citizen. Again, he is denied. Boom. Goodbye, sir. It's specifically designed to get you into a bureaucratic uh, thinking where you do the same thing over and over and over and over again so it can throw you a curveball where you least expect it. Okay, again, this is a citizen, as it says here. So, she is approved. She can go. Time is ticking there. Yeah, just, you know. Just <laughs> That's not a threat at <laughs> all. Not at all. It might come up later on, you know. You never know. A citizen. Yes, sir. Can please go through. I have lost this one because the, uh, the time expired. So I don't get it. So here's the other thing. When you finish each day, okay, you get this, you get this uh, statistics, okay? These are, the per, these are the passports you processed, these are the money you made, and this is the stuff that you have to pay for. Rent, food, heat, and these are your dependents. Okay, I've saved $10, but I can go in and say, oh, you know what? My family is not getting any food. I need the money. Boom. Hey, you know what? You don't need any heat either. 
you just wear more clothes. Okay, rent, uh, well, rent I have to pay because, you know, even in, a, even in a game, you cannot fool the government. So, especially I this, this government. <laughs> I sleep and then I repeat. Go to the next day. I always love the first couple of days because eventually it gets to my birthday, 6th of December, 1982. <laughs> okay, so now we get our new mandal. It says here that we are allowing foreigners to go in, but they need to have proper uh, identification, proper passport. Uh, sorry, passport. Here there is a, okay, I'm going to show you now. We bring the first one in. Okay, so now uh, here, if you click this one, this button here detects discrepancies, meaning that you have to connect two points that are highlighted to see if there is a discrepancy in information. Okay, let's say that you think that the picture in the passport is not the same as the picture of the person. It says matching data. It's the same. No problem. So. We had that it says that he is from he is from Antegria, so we I take my book, the regional map, I go to Antegria and I see the cities that issue passports. It says Glorian there, so this is a legit passport. Did you check the expiration date? I didn't. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, that's the point. Okay, I'm going to make a mistake uh, uh, on purpose, okay? Just so you see, because it makes a sound when you make a mistake that if you do it often enough, it, it's ingrained into your brain. I mean, you're conditioned to hate it like a Pavlov's dog, okay? I'm guessing like dogs hate Pavlov. Um, okay, uh, yeah. Not well. yeah, he's expired. But yeah, accept him anyway. Yeah. His license is expired. Okay. I'm going to accept him anyway. Boom. You can go, sir. No problem. That I see here. God, I hate this sound. I'm getting a citation that says that the passport was invalid because it had an expiration date. I'm issued a, I'm issued a warning. No penalty. After that... I'm going to get penalties that are going to be deducted from my salary. So at, some po at what point do you go that your salary is more important by what happens? Okay, another citizen. Well, his passport seems okay. Does it? Are you sure? Check his sex a second. Mr. Robert. Oh. Which is okay, of course. I don't know in the 80s if that was okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It Let's do a highlight thing so you can see. Here's the sex, here's the man. Discrepancy detected. Imme immediately it opens an interrogate button. You click it. <laughs> yeah, that's the before the Me Too generation, so. So I don't like him. Denied. And eventually, you also get the power to have people arrested. Yes. By the way, you can join in. You can tell me if I can, you know, accept or deny people. You get the power that's vested upon me, and I give it to you. All right. Okay. She is a citizen. So, yeah. Approved. Oh, again. Did I miss it again? It expired. Oh, come on. No, it wasn't. There you go. You know what? Even, even the state makes mistakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Okay. It's, uh, oh, okay. It's not expired. It appears to be okay. Approved. And this goes on. I know that it seems very simple and very repetitive, but believe me, it's highly addictive. <laughs> it's a, a, at one point you get obsessed by finding out if there's a mistake or not. And 
the beauty of the game comes where there's obviously a mistake, but the ethical choice is to let that person in because at some point, uh, oh, there you go. Okay, this lady says, "Hey, come by and see me." Go this. Oh, this is a. Uh, well, it's a, for lack of a better term, a gentleman's club. So it means that the lady is a prostitute, okay? And she wants to, and she wants to come in, and as Frixo said, all prostitutes, always, this is a free pass that the game gives you, the paper are in order, which, of course, it's uh, to give you a message. It's, it's, it's educational without being boring, okay? What it says is that, it's the people that are most in need that are being taken advantage of. That, I mean, okay, um, John Lennon here. Uh, oh, apparently it's Jane Lennon. Oh, oh, and what's going on? Boom, terrorist attack. It's a Tuesday, right? Yeah, <laughs> happens every Tuesday. I mean, Tuesdays, right? <laughs> my son is my son is sick and he needs medicine. So now, where I saved thirty bucks, now I'm just left with five. I need to be more thorough. This is what the game forces you to. It forces you to be more thorough and more thorough and take more time and then you cut and and then you cut um you take the easy way out okay now foreigners need to have an entry ticket a valid entry ticket so the number of stuff that i need to check just went up so he gives me his visa and he gives me his entry ticket as well it's valid till today Okay, he is from Republia. Let's check. The issuing authority is two Gorian. Boom, his his papers are in order. Boom, there you go, good sir. Have fun. Here's your entry ticket as well. Cause no trouble is what people say to get into the country. By the way, if this was not dystopian enough. Oh, this lovely granny over here. She doesn't have an entry ticket. So, despite the fact that her papers might be in order and that she's a grandmother, boom, denied. Again, that voice. I can make you happy anytime. Boom, a freebie. Again, these women are being trafficked in, and you say, cool, no problem. Is, if that isn't scary enough. Hey, if you spot something, you can tell me, by the way. Okay, his expiration date is okay. He is from Colecha. Mm, check his ticket. I'm going to, uh, just give me a moment, give me a moment. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at some point you get so many stuff that it's very hard for you to navigate. So, his, uh, his, his issuing authority is not valid. Despite the fact that his ticket is valid, he should be denied because he was not issued a ticket from a city. It's obviously fake because the city that issued him the ticket, it's not in the country that says. Boom. Next. Yeah, little red riding hood. You're, you're lucky to have a job still. Thank you very much. How's your Monday? Okay, he, oh, here's his entry ticket. Looks okay, looks okay. I don't have time to check his regional map approved because I don't have time to check it because my son is sick and he needs medicine. And you go on and on and on making these choices all the time and being repetitive all the time. 
And that's how it gets you. Okay. Wow, if there's ever a member of the Anonymous Club, it's him. Or her. Or her. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, ooh, I didn't, so she had a ticket, so. Yeah, what? <laughs> I denied access without knowing. The party will be very disappointed. Let's see. Ooh, apparently, I was correct by accident. Happens. Hmm, it says female here. Hmm, I have my doubts. So, discrepancy generator. Boom. Female, oh, sorry. Discrepancy detected. Dear sir, are you a woman or a man? I'm Caitlyn Jenner, he says. Okay, so he has no proper answer for that. He is denied. At some point, the people who don't have, like, uh, not at some point, the, uh, the people who, who go in and their conditions are randomly generated. So you will never get the same two with the same conditions because there's like billions of chances. A apart from the fixed yeah. people like this great individual here. <laughs> the greatest country. He is part of the game up until the very last day, if you last that long. And eventually he does show up with a real passport. <laughs> oh, how do you, how do you get it? Uh, in the notepad, I think you have to select uh, passport and the lack of passport uh, yeah. in the booth. Excuse me. In the basic rules, you, yeah. there's, it says entrant must have passport, all documents must be current and foreigners require an entry ticket. And if you want to check it, you have to do this and click the counter. Where's your passport? He doesn't need one. <laughs> yeah, not suspicious at all. Someone coming to a border crossing without a passport and be like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't know I need a passport. He eventually comes back with a piece of paper with pastel drawings on it. He does it a couple of times. You get a choice to arrest him and end his life or let him go through and eventually he shows up with a real passport. It's one of those things I that I the game does to you. I didn't get that far. I, 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 well, I have 40 hours on this game. I reached the point, I reached the point where I had to just er ergonomize everything I did, like all the movements. Where do I put the passport quickly so I can stamp it fast? It's, it's mechanical at some point, yeah. That is if you want to play without thinking morally if what you're doing is correct or not. And eventually you, will, you get asked some serious questions. You even get the choice to leave your family behind and escape there you the go. country. This is a mistake. I just renew it. So do you let him in or not? I chose to deny, despite the fact that he's a citizen. Job well done. Job a, well done. A good day. I'm a good public sector <laughs> employee. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. I will be needing a union very, very soon. A what? A union. You have the wrong country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no unions here. Glory to Alochka, by the way. The greater good. Black market activity explodes. Government blames lax immigration control. Oops, that's you. You are responsible for the black market exploding. Let's do one more day. Yeah. Let's do one more day. You guys enjoying this? Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Great. It's, it's fun to play with people's pain. Bravo. So, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's bring in the first person. Now they need a valid permit. Not just a ticket, a permit. Go on. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, she's okay? Okay. Sorry? Who said, who said denied? What's wrong with her? Have you spotted? The enter by date is okay? You know what? This is on you. I'm going to deny her. Oh. My son is sick. He needs medicine. And you forced me to deny her entry. Let me see what I did. I got a citation. Thank you very much. 
my son will be coughing your name tonight. <laughs> okay, she's here to immigrate. Ooh, the entry permit is expired. I'm sorry, Svetlana. You are not allowed in. You sure? Well, I just made a call. <laughs> That's pretty good. There you go. So you just denied a woman to live with her husband. Yes, basically. by the way, what I did just now. Yeah. Oh, he has an entry ticket. He doesn't have an entry permit. I'm sorry, what did he say, by the way? A few days. He's here for visit. Yeah, well, I don't think so. Boom. Go back from whence you came. <laughs> he's yeah. not wrong. He's not. He's not wrong. But well, he is actively annoyed. Them's the rules. Oh, there we go. Oh, what's this? It's a citizen. Oh yeah, this is a citizen ID. So, well, let's see if he catches it. Ooh, I don't know. Well, it seems okay. Does it? Uh, okay, don't do me like that. It seems okay. No comment. Ah, you know what? What is she called? I don't know, George. Go on. Ooh! Did anyone, did anyone else spot it? Okay. There, late in the back. C thank you for speaking up. My son is sick. What's wrong with you? Okay, so the name Maybe here. Maybe she wants the lady to enter Ajotska and live a happy life. For you, it's just one citation. For her, it's probably death. I have multiple names. Well, you know. Fingerprints. Let's, let's check her fingerprints. And she's absolutely right. There you go. It was a misprint. You, you almost denied that woman access. I just said you should check it. You don't want to disappoint the party, okay? <laughs> Vive la revolution. Ah, that voice. It's interesting how the word revolution slightly made the room slightly colder because there is one currently happening. She has not seen her son in six years, and she came to visit, okay, for six months. Oh, but her entry permit, ah, oh, expired three days ago. Do I grant her access, or do I deny? Give her access. Okay, let's give her a show of thumbs, okay, let's do it Roman Emperor style. Who wants, show of hands, who wants to let her in to see her son? And who believes that the system should work and be upheld? <laughs> right? Well, okay. Because you gave a reasoning. Okay, I'm down with you. You in the back, you're like, let her in, don't let her in. The system wins. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, little lady. There you go. Thank you very much. Ooh, who is it? Really, there you go. Do you see how interesting this gets as you go along? Like every single part, okay, every single, every single gate, it gets increasingly more difficult to point stuff. And believe me, that citation thing, I can hear this in my nightmares, okay? Like I've been conditioned, I hate the sound. Like if I hear the facts at work working, I'm gonna go nuts. Hmm. Her picture appears to be different. Let's yeah, there's another discrepancy there. Oh, let's check the picture first. Oh, matching. I mean, you said her picture. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, who else? Who believes that there's a mistake here? Sir? Well, male. It hmm. says male there, yeah. Okay, so let's check. Why does it say male? Oh, yeah. Uh her face and the sex yeah are you male or female what is this question well 
get an x-ray scanner eventually as well to check for contraband and you can definitely check their sex there no matter what the fingerprints say because even the fingerprints might be fake. Yeah, this was before the GDPR thing happened. So. <laughs> this was before a lot of things happened. Oh, he doesn't look suspicious at all. Hmm, three months, checks out. Ooh, okay, well, he appears to be okay. Let's let him in. I hope the name, I hope he has two names. Let's see. The names were different. Well, Ooh, they were. Ooh, <laughs> mistake. That's $5 gone. Oh, there he is again. Yeah, there's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Stan is not a real country. Oh, okay. <laughs> I come here with better one. Okay, she is a citizen. Well, doesn't matter now because I'm off duty, so I won't get paid anyway. The rent has gone up. Lovely. I have no money now. So next day, my decisions will have to be way, way quicker and way, way more precise. And it's the, there are some funny aspects to it, but where you see that that little thing we did with the woman and her son, at some point it gets really dark because there's a woman that comes. I, I, I don't remember. She's being uh, trafficked. The, 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 the entire prostitute ring eventually yeah. comes and rests on your lap. Yes. Because you're the one that's been letting them in and you, it's up to you to deny the, the, um, the whole so, organization, you know, the women. Women that have been sex trafficked yeah. and I get the option to either can allow this to continue because it's by the book, it's by the law. I don't mind. Okay. But I know that this is, a, I know that this is wrong, that this is a crime, that they take advantage of these people. So do I let them in? Is my son before them? At one point, does the, do you say, you know what? The one doesn't, the, the sacrifice of the one doesn't constitute uh, like a, uh, an excuse to hurt them more. So, Mr. Fixus, if you wanna. Yeah, I think, I think we all have an idea of what Papers, Please is all about now, right? Uh, and of course, I, I use the term empathy simulator at the beginning. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, what is an empathy simulator? Well, we're going to discuss that with two wonderful people. First of all, I'd like to welcome the founder of Playful Solutions, Mr. Konstantin Mitguch, if I'm saying that right. Yes, perfect. And the uh, lecturer of philosophy from the University of Cyprus, Mr. Christos Kiriagou. Microphones for the gentleman. Is this on? Should be on now. Go. Cool.